From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome back to The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. Back at the bar, back at Tommy Max, and brought to you by our good friends at truckcrashlaw.com. Got a lot of stories to tell this time around, all about business at Tommy Max. Let's welcome in the panel. Nelson Bradshaw is here. Nelson, welcome. Good You're with you. Farther, which is in the financial tech space, correct? Yeah, uh, we're a wealth management tech space okay. uh, that uh, works with uh, folks across the nation, fastest growing in the country right oh, now. Oh, no kidding. How yeah. long uh, How long you been doing that? Uh, just about a year. Most folks know me in town from being the uh, the CEO, regional CEO for BBVA Bank when PNC bought us out. Okay. I, I want to go from managing people and portfolios to driving revenue and strategy oh, and right. Father was the fir- perfect fit for me to do. Yeah, a nice entrepreneurial swing, yeah. right? Go right. from corporate right into it. Yeah. That's fantastic. Great to have you here. Thanks for being here. James Lampke's yes, back. Sir. How are you, my back man? again. From Robert Half. Absolutely. We're talking technology once again. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Uh, you know, security seems to continue to be a huge driving force in this in the tech space, right? Just sure. making sure. You got to make sure it's protected. You, you got to make sure costs. you're protected. But I think I think the biggest concern that we have in, in the tech space with security is just the, the sheer lack of ability to hire the talent for yep. the positions that are out there. I yep. mean, the numbers are staggering from uh, apical skills and, and, and people able to do it versus the overall need from businesses like this to be able to, to get what they need done. So yep. there's a lot of conversations changing about how that growth is going to look because realistically, we got about a 10 to 12 year stopgap between the yep. education side to actual ability. Yeah. Well, I hear today's your birthday. It is your birthday. Is that correct? Well, happy birthday. Ah, thank you. First and foremost, <laughs> I wouldn't be a great bartender without offering you a shot on your birthday. I, I, so we're going to do that I, I glad. while we say hello to Miss Sally. Hi, Sally from Traditions Hi, Realty. How are you? I'm good. Great How are to you? Great see you. Are you in property management, residential realty? What, what else we are we doing? We are a full service real estate company. Okay. We list and sell homes. We also do tenant placement. Uh, okay. for landlords who want to do uh, manage their own property. Okay. And um, right now we have about 900 accounts that we property manage, um, some oh. small shopping centers and then uh, okay. apartment complexes. Um, and then we do, you know, just regular mom and pop landlords that have okay. one house that they don't want to take care of or want to be one step away from, you know, being there to have to deal with the tenant. Yeah. On the multifamily property management side, is it what class do you normally specialize? C class, or is it the Clip-on Cooper at A class? You know, what do well, you guys normally focus on? Well, a lot of uh, on? the stuff that we're doing in multifamily mm-hmm. is just, I would say, um, workforce housing, which is very much in okay. demand. Yes, definitely. Very much in demand, and and it it's really sad because so many people are on a fixed income and they can't find a place to live. Right. And it, it, it really is terrible. So we need more product. We saying. need a lot, more product. a lot more product. And when you see all these apartment complexes going up yep. all over town, all over. these some of these people can't afford them because the yep. They're just priced out, right. especially after last year when the prices increased. And the, yeah. Yeah. Rising costs is um, are they coming down? How do, you, how do you feel the market overall? I think they're stabilizing now for a okay. while. They're not really going up. They maybe came down about 2% um, since the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. But that's still, you know, if you were paying, um, say, $1,000 for an apartment yep. and your rent goes up to fourteen or $1,500, you know, the next time you go yep. to renew, it's right. that's a big chunk that's a big of money. Jump. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, great to yeah. have you on here. Thanks for thanks, thanks for being. Angelo, how are you? Doing great, man. Uh, Savitas Cupcakery. Did I get that right? Savitas. Savitas. Yeah. Savitas Cupcakery. Savitas Cupcakery. He brought some treats. You knew it was James' birthday, didn't I you? I knew it was James' birthday. Yeah. You know, it was that ESPN, you know? <laughs> absolutely. Was tapped in. Yeah. So how long you been doing the uh, with the, the, the goodies here? How long you been doing it? Uh, so I uh, took over Savitas maybe about four years ago. Okay. Uh, just when the pandemic came in. Oh, and, perfect you know, time. Yeah, perfect time. <laughs> perfect time to buy into the small business. Right. Uh, but yeah, so we've been doing it for about four years okay. uh, right here in the local Avondale area. Um, thanks to good people like my friend here. Uh, we're actually one of our tenants in one of the spaces right. that are... Uh, small <laughs> world. Small people world. together. Yeah, small. It's great. Uh, so, you know, yeah, we provide uh, premium cupcakes, uh, yeah. small business, and then um, on top of that, our Moonlit brand is something that we're using to really give back to our community. Okay. Um, you know, cool. Me and my wife are from Jacksonville. We're born and raised here. Yep. Uh, you know, plan on starting a family here. So All right. uh, just based on, you know, our experiences really wanting to, you know, of course, be successful business people. Sure. But also, you know, be able to 
sow back and pour back into the community that helped make us who we are. That's awesome. Um, are you? Have you always been an entrepreneur? I have been. Yeah. Uh, I've done yeah. a few things. Uh, before yeah. this, I was uh, a songwriter, and uh, I was okay. fortunate enough to win a Grammy for that. No um, kidding. Wow. Yeah. Really? So uh, I spent on. some time in that space. Cheers then, to that, man. Yeah. Cheers to that. Way to go. What a great yeah. like, royalty. Yeah. 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 Nobody yeah. else got any Grammys. Yeah. 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 Um, I didn't go to DA. I hmm. spent my time at uh, Sandalwood High School. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And, um, you know, spent some time helping the choir there and directing yeah. stuff like that. And then and uh, left high school, and I, I don't think I've done a lot of stuff. I was a yeah. youth pastor for like 10 okay. years wow. while I was doing the whole songwriting thing. So uh, yeah. this adventure, this new journey is uh, something that's, you know, new yeah. word. you got to get the good word. That's sweeter. Oh, that's that's right. sweetest. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Man. It's, I like that. it's yeah. the sweetest. All right, here's a question for the panel. I, this is great because uh, I love how this always works out. But I wanna, I'm going to start with, with you, Nelson. Mm -hmm. So when you're starting a business, mm -hmm. I work with early stage yeah. companies. The ones that fail, the processes aren't in place from the right. beginning. They just right. they think they're going to get to them later. we got this great idea. we right. got to do this, this, and this. But they forget about what's going to make it work. Right. You know, having that strategy, how important is it to have it from the very get go, even before you really right. start going out there trying to chase the money or chase a deal or what have right. you? Right. Well, you got to sort of get proof of concept first, right. so to speak, to be able to go that. Yep. And one of the, we have a great resource in this market to do that. The Small Mis Business Development Center at UNF okay. uh, mm -hmm. will provide you help for free, quite wow, honestly. No kidding. All right. Uh, to do that, yep. it's a uh, government sponsor with the Small Business Development sure. uh, Corporation. So that's a great place. Uh, uh, the chamber here. Mm -hmm. I'm on the board of the chamber here. They have some great programs. We were talking earlier about how do you, local businesses connect with each other. They have a Jack's Bridges program mm -hmm. uh, that can help yep. uh, you mentor with larger companies and get on their buyer vendor list uh, to do that. So there are really a lot of resources. It's just m really a matter of getting out there and, and talking to folks and, and yeah. finding them. But it's important to make sure you yeah, take no care doubt. of that initially. Absolutely. How about you, Sally? Even with the great boom in the real estate, right? You got to have a plan. You got to have a strategy. You can't yeah, just be well, throwing um, darts against the wall, right? I opened Traditions in 2009 at the bottom of the real estate market, oh, wow. and um, we embraced a need that was not out there. It was people who couldn't sell their houses. Yeah. Um, they needed to move. Um, we jumped in and said, we can find a tenant for you, and we just made a business out of that. Yep. And um, it did very well, and we're still, you know, we have a huge segment uh, of our business is property management, but we also list and sell houses. So right. if we have investors that come in and want to buy something, you know, we know what's going to fly, yep. um, you know, and cash flow because most people yep. are concerned with that because yep. um, it's a big investment. Absolutely. So um, we do that, and um, we. We'll do kind of anything that, that we need to do to um, make a customer feel like they're getting uh, the best information. Okay, great. Great. James, in the tech world, I mean, it's, I've dealt with some tech companies. Great idea. A lot of great ideas out there. Mm -hmm. But you, if you can't execute, you can't deliver, all it is is just an I, idea. I think when you're starting a small business, yeah, I think you mentioned it, but it, it, it's understanding goals. It's it's not being too lofty to Managing fail. expectations. It's really managing your own expectations, yeah. understanding what it is you're truly good at, yeah. execute on that, get really, really good at it, and then kind of figure out where you want to branch from there. Because I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of tech businesses that their product is amazing, their idea is amazing, but it's, you know, I want to be at this level this fast, but you've got to understand the 12, the 18, the 24 month process and then right. beyond that yep. and then expand from that and not let your, your, you know, Thanksgiving little piece here. Don't let your eyes, you know, be bigger than your stomach yep. and, and really understand how Good you point. want to get there the right way. Which is a great segue yeah. into. Unless it's cupcakes. <laughs> Andrew, I'm trying to plug you. Certainly be bigger <laughs> than <laughs> than your stomach at this cup. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you look like you're an organized guy. Like you, you got. Could you be better? Or what, do you, what do you think about all that? You know what? Uh, one thing I've learned over this time is that you can always be better. Sure. Uh, you know, I'm I'm more of a creative, so I got yeah, ideas idea. and yeah. visions and I'm all the these same. things for days. And, yep. uh, you know, I'll put them on paper. I'm like, all right, here's where we're going here. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like the skeleton guy. And honestly, at this point, it's my wife who's like the planner. Yeah. She's the organizer. She puts a piece together like, all right, this She's is where we need today. Like, yes, yeah. yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. like, this is where we need to be today. This is what we need to do here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's... 
you know, we I had the store before we met, and uh, yeah. you know, so just kind of in this process of her's like, all right, no, you need to think yeah. about this, and yeah. let's let's go here and yeah. let's figure this out. Good team. Uh, yeah, you know, best. That's the. I think yeah. that's one key success, man. Having a, a great team, no and a great strategy, and uh, you know, the will and the, and the I guess you'll call it the the, way. the the fortitude yeah. to march through it until that's you hit right. success. Yeah. Cool. Great answers from everybody. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate that. Hey, if you like these kind of conversations, check out more at IWantabuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. And we see it, we'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. Born out of the bold city of the South, the Southern Grill has been a mainstay in Jacksonville South Bank for 24 years. From sunup to sundown, Southern Grill serves up home cooked meals daily. From breakfast to Southern cooked barbecue, sandwiches, wraps, platters, and vegetarian options, the Southern Grill has you covered. At night, enjoy some live music at our full bar or catch this week's best college or NFL game with our NFL Sunday ticket. Dine in to go, delivery, or catering. Enjoy a taste of the South at the Southern Grill. Feel a new level of comfort with underwear for men. Created for men with an active lifestyle and designed for sports, work, medical, and everyday wear. Underwear for Men has a special patented drawstring pouch which allows you to adjust the perfect custom fit around your manhood. It allows you the separation you need and the support you deserve. The drawstrings adjust to isolate and support. The mesh pouch cools and comforts. The tailored fit won't rubber chafe. A tagless plush waistband size to fit a man's waist and materials that are quick dry and moisture wicking. Underwear for Men is available in all your favorite styles and colors. In briefs, trunks, and six inch and nine inch boxer briefs and in your choice of cottony extra cool viscose or polyester fabrics. Underwear for Men. Support your manhood. From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. Back at the bar at my bar, Tommy Max, always a great place to meet new people. Brought to you by good friends at Truck Crash Law. Dot com. We're talking books. We're talking business. We're talking right here at the bar. Let's welcome in the panel. Sherry is here from Storehouse Media. How are you, girl? Welcome back. Thank you for having me back. Life treating you well? It, it is treating me well. Yeah. Any yeah. exciting uh, book uh, subjects that you're uh, working on? Anything yeah. uh, that's in the horizon? Yeah, we, we've got quite a few in the horizon. Yeah. Pretty are most nonfiction or fiction? What, what would you say? Is it a 50-50? What, what, what are people trying to write out there? Nonfiction. Mostly nonfiction. Nonfiction. Kind of out there in the yes. fantasy world. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. 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 I mean, what we get, yeah. we get a lot of nonfiction. We do get novels, but, you know, a lot okay. of nonfiction and business books and uh, how-to books, self-help. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, but it's interesting because, you know, the people who work on it, we, you know, we learn a lot as yeah. we work on it because we have to know the topic yeah, as absolutely. we work on it. So, cool. yeah, it's it's fun. It is fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Great to have you. Thank Derek, you. Derek Sawyer's back from the All-22. What you having me? I told you, I still wear that hat, man. I love it, man. It I'm... fits my head, and I wear every hat that fits my head. I, it's hard to find, man. <laughs> There's not many. Some of us have I got heads, like three. You know I got I mean? like three, but they're my go-to. How you guys been doing, man? How's growth been we, doing? We've been great. We uh, Since we last talked, I, I spent a couple months over in uh, Europe. We've got a lot of traction over there. I think about 30 or 40 teams now that are cool. searching for American athletes. You have okay. guys here in the U.S. coming out of the NCAA and um, last year alone we were able to get four players drafted in the CFL that were right. global players so cool. that's really exciting as well okay really try to develop both you know US guys getting opportunities abroad and then those those players globally that top 1% bringing them back here to maybe get into the NFL but certainly yeah. XFL USFL CFL yeah I was gonna say now you can XFL USFL we have know, some options now. Absolutely. We have some options. how many leagues are they in the hundreds overseas like how many like because I know a couple guys from Boston College that sure. did that they go I forget what country they go to, but they go, yeah. they play American football, they get paid, they get housed, they have a good time, and then they so come home. So the German the League, for example, which okay. Germany is a pretty good-sized league in Europe, a lot of American military bases in the 80s, so right. it developed a sure. lot. Um, there's a national team, 
with okay. the top tier adults and then of course all the youth developmental leagues and then okay. there's club level so there's eight i think 16 teams in the top tier yep. and there are seven total tiers wow no kidding that's just yeah. in germany yeah right now you have spain you have Con. italy right you have, right. right so it's it's moving is it like the basketball a b a league b league c d d league exactly. kind of same, same thing exactly. yeah. and then again developmental right. leagues so all the way down to u13 flag yep. u15 and then up into tackle and, and again, you know if you're still chasing that dream why wouldn't you do that? I mean, you get to play ball, you get paid a little right. bit of money, you're one young, shot. I mean, you go travel the world, I mean, let's go, let's go That's play it. some ball. Great to have you on the show. Appreciate and it. Great to hear things going. Brent, how are you, my man? Doing well. You're in absolutely. the exterior solutions business, That's, is that correct? Absolutely, yeah. What are you guys doing? So uh, we do hurricane protection and also okay. retractable screens, um, oh, wow. different exterior projects, yep. so um, it's been great. Really Our nice. Most new builds have to have the hurricane, right? Is that correct? Yeah, no, or, gr great question. So on where they're at. Exactly. It's yeah. location dependent. So okay. uh, it's around the St. Augustine line where they require it by building code. So okay. uh, we do a ton of projects down there. Uh, North Florida as well, depending on uh, just kind of your aptitude for wanting to protect your property. Okay. So, have you been doing it a long time? And is, yeah. it, is it your company? It, yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, so it's my company. Yeah, no, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah we're year four. Uh, yeah, and so we've been First Coast Hurricane Shutters. We're mm -hmm. actually rebranding to better exterior solutions uh, yep. to kind of highlight some of the other stuff that we do. Primarily these retractable screens, but we've got this new motorized pergola that's uh, really exciting. Oh, so, really? Yeah, that's it's, cool. It's man. Describe that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. Appreciate that, David. It's so it's a retractable rooftop pergola. So it's louvered. Uh, we can put a rain sensor on the roof. It'll automatically shut itself and, no and keep. Yeah. Patio wow. furniture dry if it rains, or also sun when it when it's nice outside. And commercial yeah. applications. Yeah. To that as well, right? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Being amazing for restaurant spaces and, and different patios. Like umbrellas opening up when the sun's popping up. Right? It, it's that like that on steroids but yeah. like a, a real yeah. roof i mean and, and these things are, no no i know yeah it, it's like yeah no absolutely yeah, but it yeah. looks like i mean it's like the cream of the crop rolls royce type install so that's cool really man cool absolutely. great to have you on the show and better congrats so far hey four years of business means you're doing something right Thank right you. david that's right My friend david silick from tab international how are you bud doing terrific good Thomas. to see you what's the latest other than your daughter oh uh, married. Da daughter got married this last weekend uh, nice. still wiping tears from the uh, the emotions. Um, yeah, it was a yeah. great weekend. It was big. I had uh, he had eleven groomsmen. She had nine bridesmaids. Holy so, cow! That's yeah, a big do way. the math. That's yeah. a big. <laughs> way. That's a big way. <laughs> Open bar. Yes. Oh, you're a good, good man. Nice. You're a good <laughs> man. Good uh, for you. Good and, for you. And uh, and my daughter-in-law. Yeah. Um, they won their. She's an athletic trainer for uh, women's basketball. Okay. Uh, Texas A and M Corpus. And yeah. They, they won their conference last oh, night. Oh, dude, that's great. So that's they got great. the big trophy, and she's yeah. got the ring. And yeah. All right, so we're, I'm gonna, I changed my mind. I'm calling all. We're going to talk about books. I want to talk because you deal with a lot of businesses, and you advise a lot of businesses and companies. Talk about branding, how important it is for a company to have the right branding. And, and maybe you only get one shot at it. I don't know if you do, but how important it is to get it right early. You, you know, Tommy, that's a, a, a great question, and, um, I, you know, most of my career, yeah. professional career, was yeah. in publishing and right. you know, running business journals. And yeah. um, it was very much about branding. We, yeah. uh, most of the advertising we sold was about building brand and building that trust yeah. and that relationship with your customer base and knowing who your customer base is. I think that's um, one of the biggest You know, pe right? people used to, uh, our, our cost per thousand, which is a common denominator in advertising, was really high compared to right. radio or the daily newspaper. Yep. Uh, but my cost per millionaire yeah. was really low. Right. Right. So that's how we that's how we sold that. If you knew your target audience, right. it was a very effective, uh, very effective to reach them yep. and and you can build that relationship with that audience. Right. Right. You can't and again it's a, it's targeted. I think that's really important. Like knowing your audience, right? Knowing who your your target customer base is gonna be, right? And then going after that, marketing it to them and being really succinct with that. Right. And they that's got they really gotta important. know you care. I mean yeah. I, I think yeah, I think build, building that relationship is yeah. largely on uh, yeah. showing how much you care. Yeah, Brent, I mean for you, I mean people are it's, trusting you to protect their, their assets. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's that's been huge. huge. Yeah. For for us uh, I, I'm a huge believer in branding as your personality, as your company. I, I look at there's me and then there's the business itself and it has its own life. It has its own cycle. And, and we, 
Yep. It's our company. It's better. It's about being our best every day. Can't be the best necessarily always 100%. Yep. But you know, we really push for that. And I think that yep. you know, showing you care, right? That's really what it boils Big down time. to. Big time. Yeah. Sure. So all 22, Derek. Um, obviously, I know what that means. But you guys had to come up with that. Did that take a long time? Or what? it took forever, man. Did it? It, it, um, <laughs> you know, uh, all 22 is actually the name of the camera angle that scouts use to see all 22 Too players right. in the field. Yeah, and so yeah. Yeah. Uh, we we went through a lot of. Uh, iterations before that one but I think you know for us it was about telling what we do but also the branding to me is consistency you know you talked about trust and I think yep. that's you know the first year that we all went out and did a lot of scouting work a lot of other scouts looked at us like what are you guys doing here and then yep. the second year it was like oh you're back right and then the third year it was like oh hi right. it, you know and so yep. I think just that consistency and being able to yep. continue to show the same result give people trust and and understanding that you know you'll yep. you'll protect their best interest that's the same for media I mean, you got to keep sure. going. You got to keep doing so. You got to keep doing. You got to be consistent with it, right? Yeah. You never know who's listening first and foremost, you know. And then if you get even one somebody that likes it, you got to be consistent with doing it because they expect it. And then when you're not there, then they lose interest right. and they're out the door. And you lose it, right? It's very important. But uh, awesome answer. How about you, Sherry? You get the final answer on this one when you're, uh, you know, looking at at your business in particular. Branding is, yeah. it's important, even yeah. in a book cover. I'll tell people who write multiple books, yeah. like, have it to where if you've written four books and you throw down 20 books, people without a title, without your name, can pick up your book. Yeah. You know, that's right. very important yeah. because they start trusting you and they start having this expectation level yeah. of you and what you, you're, you're bringing to them. Yeah. So in the book world, hugely important. I think the theme of this one was trust. Yeah. Build yes. that trust, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. And good things will happen. Thanks for being here, guys. It was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. All right. If you like these kind of conversations, check out more at IWantToBuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. And we'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for the horse's mouth here on Buzz TV at my bar at Tommy Max. We're talking art. We're talking business. We're talking surviving hurricanes through window placement and everything else at my bar. Brought to you by our good friends at truckcrashlaw.com. Let's welcome in the panel. Ron Rothberg is here. How are you, my friend? Good. How are you? Tom? All right. Tell me about your business, man. You got, you're in the, in the art world, right? In the art industry. You've got oh, a yeah. bunch of electric bikes and you artists put the, their art on and you go to different various parts of the, the city and tell stories. It's very fascinating. What are you doing, Ron? That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Is that it? Yeah, oh, my God, it. It's over. <laughs> bikes Jacks is a fleet yeah. of electric bikes. Uh, had local artists paint them. We do Good. tours through the historic neighborhoods. It's interesting when you understand the history around us because yeah. it's fascinating history in Jacksonville. No doubt. Uh, the neighborhoods, the architecture, the parks, uh, and then the incredible international collection of murals. So yeah, absolutely. We're having a good time with it, man. And you got yeah. you got to come for a ride. I you, would love to. And you would get no exercise. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. So that's, that's good. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, take yeah, yeah. take a break, right? Uh, well, you know, it's a, it's the great equalizer. I had somebody out there that was riding that was seventy five years old the nice. other day. So. Right. You know, it's great. Uh, grandparents riding with their grandkids. It's it's awesome. How long have you been doing this for, Ron? Less than two years. Okay. So we, How'd you get into it? Just out of curiosity. Uh, great question. <laughs> um, I had That's what us bartenders come up with, you know. In Avondale. Okay. Uh, we had a house uh, painted, uh, a mural painted on our fence in Avondale. It was Swan Dive, the mural. Okay. And I understood through that process how people could connect to public art. I started learning more about the public art collection we had in town, and I walked into my friend who owned a bike shop, and he had an electric bike, and I said, that's it. This is what I want to do. Mm, and then the cool. whole part about you know artists painting the bikes just came as just a, a hook, and it, yeah. uh, we got such a great, diverse lineup of local artists to participate. That's so cool. I'm, I'm really proud that we have something for everyone yeah. as they get on the bike. Absolutely. Brent Durbin's back. How are you, Brent? Absolutely. Doing well. Thanks for How's having me. How's things? Everything Thanks. good? Yeah, we're great. We're we're having I've, yeah. You heard me in the open talking a little bit of uh, the hurricane protection, right? That, I mean, that's what you're into big that, time. That's it. That, that's the bulk of our business at yep. this point. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's First Coast Hurricane Shutters. Uh, we're yep. currently uh, rebranding around some other products and okay. things that we offer. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, like I, what? Can you, can yeah, you tell? Yeah, yeah. 
that's uh, perfect. Yeah, so we do a, a ton of retractable screen installations. Okay. So you can do these for insects. You can do it for sun, shade, privacy, mm -hmm. uh, vinyl for no shams. Yeah. No, see, yeah, exactly. really, yeah, you, can, those you guys. can block out the no shams. Yeah, you can really? absolutely. I was getting attacked last night. Actually, uh, they, hey, well, we'll talk after the show right. here. Yeah, uh, for cool. sure. Yeah, we, right. uh, but it's so cool. I mean, we can make this thing. You can push a button on your phone, and the screens can drop down. Okay. Uh, we also do a ton of the roll down doors uh, or aluminum shutters. Okay. So kind of think of like a, a doomsday prepper, right? So yeah. uh, that type of install is, is really kind of right up our alley. So when you say rebrand, are you you're just adding or are you really rebrand? You're like you're just adding to the brand? Yeah, or, well, yeah. so more or less adding uh, okay. than anything. We're going to continue to focus on hurricane protection, but it sure. is a very small niche market. And we mm -hmm. found that uh, there's just other opportunities. Our, our customers were asking us to help with other projects. And, yeah. uh, you know, so we thought this is uh, the next step for us. So awesome. it's really exciting. All right, Ron, how about you? What branding, man? It's got to be pretty important in your line of work. What's your take? Well, my take is reviews. I want other people to tell my story for me. Oh, okay. I think that the like best... Like Yelp? Or what are you talking about? Like, uh, uh, or where Google, do you get most Google? Google, Google and okay. TripAdvisor. So we're on TripAdvisor okay. oh, cool. uh, and, and we're on uh, Google. Are Those those are the two things. Because if you go to a different city or you're traveling, where do you go? You go to TripAdvisor. Yep. I don't need to tell my story if somebody can tell it for me. And I believe that that's how branding is is really taken to the next level. You got to have a brand for your sure. name of your business. Right. You have to believe and have your mission. But when other people tell your story for you, right, that's the best big time. Best well, especially thing. in that line of work, right? Of or both your lines of work, really, pretty much it's anything. Not work. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. No, right. This <laughs> is it. No, yeah, this know, job very yeah, tough. Honey, I'm home. Home. <laughs> drinking a Coors Light here. Sure. Exactly, yeah. talking yeah. about branding. Yeah, no, but that's I think great. that uh, one of the things I really tried hard to do, I had these. Uh, postcards that I made, QR codes on the back, and at mm -hmm. the end of the ride, I just give it to them and say, hey man, if you enjoyed yourself, tell somebody else. Yeah, sure. And it's worked, and we get a, we've got a lot of Google reviews, we've got a lot of TripAdvisor reviews, uh, and it's it's great because that brings more people, and yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, but people are coming from like Jack crazy. to Jacksonville yeah, like, like crazy. crazy. All right, where's your next event? I mean, you have the last word on that. What's your next uh, So we event? have, our next event is the Stam Pedestrian Bridge. It's about to open. <laughs> oh, okay. That connects San Marco and, uh, cool. and Avondale. Yeah. Our bikes are in Avondale right now. Okay. At Tucker Cycles uh, Good. in the shops of Avondale. We also have bikes in uh, San Marco right here at Definition Fitness. Right oh, on okay, the, cool. Right yeah. on the square. So awesome. Once that pedestrian bridge opens, we have a whole new strategy and a plan, cool. and we're partnering with Visit Jacksonville on a couple of things cool. so all kinds of great stuff on the front oh, good best of luck with that thank man thank much. you guys for being on the show Absolutely. appreciate it all righty hey if you like these kind of conversations you can see plenty more at iwantabuzz.com so until next time stay safe and be cool out there and we'll see you right here on the horse's mouth cheers feel a new level of comfort with underwear for men Created for men with an active lifestyle and designed for sports, work, medical, and everyday wear. Underwear for Men has a special patented drawstring pouch which allows you to adjust the perfect custom fit around your manhood. It allows you the separation you need and the support you deserve. The drawstrings adjust to isolate and support. The mesh pouch cools and comforts. The tailored fit won't rubber chafe. A tagless plush waistband sized to fit a man's waist. And materials that are quick dry and moisture wicking. Underwear for men is available in all your favorite styles and colors. In briefs, trunks, and 6 inch and 9 inch boxer briefs. And in your choice of cottony, extra cool, viscose, or polyester fabrics. Underwear for men. Support your manhood.